Hi everyone, my name is Yuan Liu from Computer Vision and Intelligent System Lab of University of North Texas. Today I'm going to present my paper, Global and Local Structure Preservation in Non-Rigid Poinsettia Registration. At first, I will show you the problem and the motivation of the paper, and then I will briefly introduce the three non-rigid poinsettia registration methods. To evaluate these methods, we designed a matrix that consists of global and local aspects. After that, I'll present some experimental results and analysis. At last comes the conclusion. Now, rigid poinsettia registration is a common problem in practice and remains challenge in computer vision. As shown in the active graph, the point set registration is mapping one point set to another one. We need to find a transformation based on correspondence between the point sets. We selected three non-rigid point set registration methods based on their better performance in a great number of experimental results. We found that they share a main similarity which is they are considering local and global structure preservation in the process of registration. To understand the influences of global and local structure preservation in the registration process, we did some experiments. OK, at the first, let's go through the three methods. The PRGLS method employs Gaussian mixture model to represent the point sites. One point set is taken as the GMM centers, and the other is considered as the points produced by the GMM. The expectation and the maximization algorithm is used to update the point-to-point -point correspondence between point sets. This can be considered as a global aspect. The PRGLS method uses local feature descriptor based matching method to initialize the correspondence before each iteration and to constrain the point's movement, and this is considered as a local aspect. The GLTP shares the same global aspect as PRGLS. However, it employs the local linear embedding method to reconstruct the moving point set before registration. Each point will be represented by its k nearest neighbors and a set of weights. The GLMDTPS method proposes a global and local mixture distance to estimate point-wise correspondences, and uses the thin plate spline method to map the point sets. And a annealing scheme is used to overcome local minimum as well. The mixture distance includes the local and the global aspects. The most of the common metrics to evaluate the registration results, root mean square error, is shown in equation 1, where xn and yn are two points from different point sets. The capital N denotes the number of points in the point set. The root mean square error focuses on the global perspective and ignore the local aspect, which is not adaptable in our case. So we design the matrix that considers the local and the global aspects of the registration methods. To calculate the global difference, the point set is divided into NR subregions. The histogram of the number of points located in each subregion is considered as the representation of the global structure of the point set. The distance from the outmost point to the mass center of the point set is considered as the radius capital R, and we evenly divide the point set into NR subregions. NR can be calculated by equation 2 where capital M 
is the number of points in the point set. The global distance is formulated as an equation 3, where the two terms in the absolute value sign are the normalized number of points in corresponding subregion of the two point sets. We add the absolute value of the differences together to obtain the global difference of the two point sets. Note that from the experimental results, the registration method that has less global difference tends to have better qualitative matching result. So in the following, we consider the registration method that holds less global difference has better matching result. We introduce a neighbor's replacing rate to represent local difference of point sets. For instance, given point X and its k nearest neighbors, we count the number of the given points nearest neighbors that have been replaced after registration. Intuitively, the closer neighbors to point X have more contributions to the local structure. So each neighbor has different weight, which is formulated in equation 4, where the sum of all weights is constrained to 1. The alpha belongs to the range from 0 to 1 is the fading rate of the adjacent point's weight, where wi plus 1 is equal to alpha times wi. If alpha is equal to 1, then all the weights are the same. The local difference of point set is formulated as in equation 5, where w is the vector that are obtained by equation 4, and v is the vector that is elements of zeros and ones, which indicate to replace the neighbors of the i's point. In the experiment, we use the five databases. There are 2D tools, which contain seven different tools, and each tool has five different poses. 3D Human Poses database, which is acquired by a single Microsoft Kinect 2 in our lab. Four different people and each people with six different poses in it. The SCAPE Body Shape Database, Spring Female and Spring Male databases are all 3D human point sites. We use the 2D tools and the 3D human poses databases to validate the proposed matrix. In the experiment, we manually reshape the point set by rotation, rotation and evenly scale up, rotation and unevenly scale up to simulate rigid transformation and non-rigid transformation. The left part of Table 1 and Table 2 show that the local and the global differences can recognize rigid transformation and a non-rigid transformation. When the transformation is rigid, the two differences are relatively small and they are relatively large, on the other hand. The red part of Table 1 indicate that the global difference increases with the point set deformation level ascending. Now, we evaluate the three methods with SCAPE, Spring Female, and Spring Male databases. I highlighted the minimum value under each category. The method GLMDTPS obtains the best matching results in all the three databases and the local differences of a GLMD TPS in the three databases are also very small. In some categories, it performs the best, and in the other categories, the local differences are almost as small as PRGLS method. The method of PRGLS preserves the local structure better than the other two. 
However, it obtains the worst matching results in all the three databases. From Table 4, we can infer that the PRGLS method constrains the point movement during the registration process to preserve point-wise neighborhood relationship. This works better in rigid transformation. However, in some cases of non-rigid transformation, the point-wise neighborhood relationship may change. For instance, the regionally apart edges touch together. The global and the local mixer distance used in GLMDTPS decreases the weight of local distance and increases the weight of global distance in this case to overcome the problem. Therefore, a flexible local structure preservation method is very important for improving the registration performance. In this paper, we design a matrix to evaluate the non-rigid point setter registration methods in local and global aspects respectively. The registration method preserves the most of the local structure may not perform good in matching. On the other hand, the registration method that obtains the best matching results performs good in preserving local structure as well. Based on the previous conclusion, a flexible local structure preservation method is desired to be embedded in the registration method to improve the matching result. It's for sure that we cannot ignore the possibility that a matrix is not precise enough to evaluate the registration result. So the global and the local difference representations with higher precision will help for evaluating the methods in the future. The references used in this presentation are listed here. Thanks for watching.